they all break it up this morning. It was okay. Yeah, it's a little early, but good morning, everybody. Welcome back to church. So glad to see your smiling face underneath your backs. Your story is holding down the balcony and security in the balcony, security on the floor. We're good together. Yeah, Mr. Wilmerson will begin with a uh, welcome. In case you did not know, today is World Communion Sunday. And so you'll see on our communion table there are seven candles from the seven continents of the world. And today. community of faith. And so the first Sunday of October has become a time when Christians in every culture come together and break bread and share the common remembrance and affirm Christ as the head of the church. So World Communion Sunday can be both a profound worship experience and a time for learning more about our wider community of faith. And I think it's an awesome thing that we all came back together for in-person worship on World Communion Sunday. And let us begin now with our call to worship. O oh Lord, you are God. There is no other God but you. O oh Lord, we worship you, we praise you, and honor your name. We worship you all this, your holy name. For your love, for your word, for all that you have given, O oh Lord, we thank you and praise you. We love you. Our opening heaven rejoices. Accepted in your sight, 
O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Then God's
The gospel lesson is from the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 33 to 46. Jesus said, Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, got a fine pressing it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to ten and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenant seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and spent another. And again, he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them the same way. themselves, this is the heir, come and get his inheritance, let us get him his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now when the only owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to Jesus, he will put those wretches to death and lease the vineyard to the other tenants. Who will give him the produce at the time of harvest? Jesus said to them, Have you ever read the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's work, and it is amazing in your eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken from you, the individual people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on the stone will be broken to pieces, and it will crush and watch him when it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard the parable, they realized he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a god. This It's my heart. Being something in your sight, or oh, devil is the time that I need you, God, I need you right now. I pray that they not see nothing, but that they see you. That they not hear nothing, but that they hear you. Thank you even now, God, that our eyes are on one to you. Our ears are ready to hear. And our hearts are willing to understand. We thank you, God. Our lives will be made together as a result of the word we hear today. Thank you, God, for these precious people who press their way in the midst of pandemics, problems, in the midst of their own trials and tests to come to the house of worship. Don't disappoint us, God. Meet us here. Show us where you're going and allow us to join you there. In Jesus' name. Amen. As God should guide in the time that I have to share, I want to attack on those verses that simply read out of the gospel. And I want to reach object today's tenets. Today's tenets. I'm going to pick up and read it where some of them did at verse 42. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. And whether you are here in the sanctuary today or Watching this morning, I have an announcement to me. All of us are tenants. Whether you believe it or not, you know that a tenant is someone that occupies land or property that is rented from a landlord. And you say, Well, Pastor D, you don't know. I don't rent. 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 
And I'm not talking about whether you own property or you're renting property. I'm talking to all of us because we are tenants here on earth. When you were when you were born, when you were born, the lease was signed. The lease was signed. The lease was signed. You know how it is in front of your face. Sometimes if your credit isn't that good, yeah. All of us. Today's tenants represents us regardless of our race, regardless of our sexual orientation, regardless of who we love. We have signed a lease, and what we do as tenants is very important. Oh, today, you know, I, I, I don't want to deal with the first part of the gospel text. All of this about a slave and then finding out the be unsaved, and then they send another son. As I did, I don't I don't want to deal with all of that doom and gloom on the first Sunday coming back to service. But look at what Jesus says about hearing these parables being read in scripture. Jesus says the stone that the builders rejected. Beloved, this morning I want to talk about the soul because the soul is today's tenant. The soul is marked by soul. It has sometimes faced ostracism. The soul will not always be treated fairly. And that's not just for people of color. It's not just people of color. All of us at some point of in our lives must understand that we are tenants in the kingdom of God. And so the question is, how or what do I do as a tenant in God's kingdom? Well, beloved, if you're going to be in the kingdom, and we're looking at those verses in the gospel, the first thing that it says, it says the soul that the builders rejected. Today, are one of the people that's going to be and say rejected. Everyone will not welcome us. Everyone will not accept us. Everyone will not love us. All, all of us that some of us rejected. It's one thing to be rejected from people I don't know, but it's a different DNA rejection for any of us, male or female, gay or straight. All of us at some point in our lives will feel But the second thing is, is that Dean, you will be rewarded. Because the text says that the soul that you rejected has become the chief cornerstone. In other words, the chief cornerstone is the thing that holds it to keep the cornerstone that is the heart of the chief cornerstone that is not The soul can be rejected, but the soul will become the chief. It's good news to you and I that it's tennis because it doesn't mean our entire being will be rejected. That there will
Today's tenants will be resented. All but beloved were the smoke cleaners and the dust settlers. Today's tenants will be regarded. Yes, you, my brothers and sisters in Christ's creation, we will be regarded. What the last verse says, they want they wanted to take him down, but they feared the crowd because they regarded him as a prophet. So they said, we're going to be rewarded. We're going to lose some resentment. But they will regard us, not because of the color of skin. I'm not going to the church that we but who will be regarded for the songs says that they love the Christian. I love today's tenants who we were born beside the lease. When you die, the lease is terminated. I don't know about you, but it is my prayer that while I am a tenant. I didn't say a perfect tenant, but that I am a good tenant, and that I show myself worthy to my brothers and sisters that I have time as I travel along. Whether it's for the word or something, then my lips. Shall not be the part of it from them if we are very small, but at the end of the day, we are all God's tenants. Today's tenants will be rejected. Today's tenants will be rewarded. They will be resented. But most importantly, they will be. So your, 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 your application has to be based on your credit score. How you treated the affairs in your life. I'm grateful to them that today's tenants are part of God's family. So thank you, God, that even when we feel as though we should even be regarded as your tenants. Yeah. The parable that you shared about the tenants and the vine owner God. Thank you for showing us that this in character. Well, as you shared the stone that the builders rejected. Today we see ourselves as that stone. Some are rejected by 
by society. Some have been rejected by family. Some have been rejected by church, by friends, by the faith. That rejection is without question. We thank you for the reward that comes. Yes, there will be. That is tenant, we purpose in our heart to not always do what we want to do, but to do what you ask us to do. And that's to love you and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Thank you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.